Friday night at Fraser with 10 races for your wagering enjoyment. Bailey Williams is going to pick the winners. I'm just going to be her foil. And we uh, are looking forward to another good night. We have we have some stakes action, Bailey. I'm very excited. We have both the uh, Ray Gamble Memorial and the Penny Bath Memorial as well. Yes, and with those two stakes also brings an extra driver into our colony for the evening. Phil Giesberg came over from Alberta, so that's always good and enticing for your wagering purposes as well. What are your wagering purposes starting with? I'm going to start with that early pick four starts race number two through five. For a $1 ticket, I have an $18 wager and I'm going to single number five Sunshine Boy in race number four. I mean, this horse is just impressive awesome writing about him. got many articles already going about him so that's who i'm going to hold true to and single in my early pick four race number six and we'll move on to that the ray gemmel memorial i knew mr ray gemmel very well great he really was was a little bit before my time in the standard bread world but rub it in <laughs> <laughs> but we've got a very exciting field of six here and number six, Buddy Knox. What an outstanding two-year-old season this horse had, winning every leg of the Millbank series. Came back last time out. I thought for sure was going to be a runaway winner, pacing right on, but barely held on. I'm hoping that that was in hopes to have a little more steam for tonight's event. And number four, I Know Better, is another one to look at in here as well. Uh, just before going on the break, had a a little bit of an unfortunate trip. Did not have ideal, was pressured the whole way. I do think we'll have a better performance in here. Those are my top two choices in the three-year-old voice. And that's race six, so race number eight, we get the three-year-old young ladies, and uh, this should be a good one too. I like this race. Who's it gonna be? See, this one is very tough for me for one simple reason, and that is Kootenai Coco absolutely has been pacing off this screen. Race of her own. This is going to be the first true test, though, for this filly. Did not compete with this caliber as a two-year-old, but has a lot of confidence right now. So Phil Giesberg did come out to do the driving. But the little bit of a play here is number one over ice. Mm -hmm. Have not raced yet this year as a three-year-old, but my goodness, I caught the qualifier last time. And quite honestly, I thought she was at the back. I wasn't sure what had happened, when it, but... Uh, she was widening on that field, and I do think that that will be a big challenge here for Kootenai Coco. The inside advantage as well, lots of speed away from the gate. So five and one. I'm going to put number one over ice on top, though, here in race number eight. Okay, well, who do you like? Is it Kootenai Coco? Is it over ice? Is it someone else? Maybe taking a bit of a long shot in there. Time will tell as we kick things off for our Friday Fraser program at 7 o'clock. <laughs> 